get, I guess, get in mind. I guess, where is the, your ceiling now in terms of, you know, how you perform going into these next few games? Look, I'd like to think of it that we don't have a ceiling. I think um, you should never set yourself limits. It's always goals, and I think once you've reached those goals, then you have to keep pushing, you have to keep creating new goals and set new standards for yourself. And that did, uh, the Norway game did set a new standard for us, and we definitely don't go down from there. And I think, as cliche as it is, the sky's the limit for us. And how exciting is it for you to, to go back home and, and play in front of all your friends and family? Yeah, it's so exciting. I think it's definitely a dream come true. I think anyone um, is lucky to play in front of a home crowd, and especially for a World Cup, and also coming off the back of a great um, victory for us. So, yeah, it'll be another emotional one for me um, and a very, very proud moment for sure. CJ, just wanted to ask, um, how many times have you watched that goal back? Um, Andrew said 30 times, I'm up around 50 to 100. <laughs> um, and do you have to move on? But you know, what do you feel when you watch that, that on video now? Oh, every time I get goosebumps. I have probably watched it over 100 times myself. Just got it on repeat on my TV <laughs> in my room. No. Um, <laughs> no, it's such pride, I think. As footballers, as any athletes, you train for those moments and for it to kind of conjure and that, oh, manifest, I guess, I don't know, come into fruition in, that, in such a way is just such an awesome moment. And it's like you give yourself a big pat on the back and a big sigh, like, oh, we did it. Like, that was such a great moment. So, yeah, just freaking stoked. Eh? <laughs> it was just such a great goal and such an awesome moment to share with the team. CJ, so a question. Feel that way on the inside? Um, we've definitely noticed it from the outside, that's for sure. I think um, a lot of you guys are being a bit more positive now, which is nice. Um, <laughs> and uh, but no, I think from the inside, things don't change for us. Like like I say, we took it, we take confidence from that performance. But I think it's a job well done. It's a tick box, and we move forward to the Philippines, and we've still got our work ons, and we've still got our things to focus on, and yeah, full focus on that. Sorry if you already addressed this, but I was just wondering what you thought of uh, Ali Riley's um, rainbow nails. <laughs> Look, I think it's such an incredible thing. Where she's unable to wear wear the armband in this tournament, um, and she's such an advocate, and she's such a, she's definitely someone who uses her platform in such a positive way. And we are all so proud of her and the way she represents um, the LGBTQ plus community. Um, yeah, awesome, good on her. We're all backing her, and we all back the community as well.